If you want to make a nursery name sign, here's how I do it from start to finish. Hey, it's Danielle from Wendell Woodworks, and today I'm going to be making a fairly simple but very sweet nursery name sign using only my scroll saw. Here's how I do it, let's get started. Step one, design. My go-to design software is Canva. Though it's free to everyone, there are some premium features and fonts that I pay for monthly to utilize. Once on the website, I selected to create a presentation, although you can select your own custom dimensions. I'm now going to add text, both a header for the first name and then another for the middle. And now I will select a great font. My client asked for an inline font but since there isn't one automatically downloaded on here, I'm using the effect feature to hollow, and then I thicken the font until it's where I want it to be. You can easily adjust the size and move the position until the text looks just the way that you want it. From there, I'm going to download my design as a PNG, and I'll open it up in the Paint program. From Paint or from whatever software program that you use, you can adjust the size in the page setup section. And then I will print the template and tape it together to form my pattern. Step two is to find a backing. You can use a variety of materials for this and even plywood, but today I'm using a 12 inch pine board that I had reclaimed. And I've traced the lines around the template to bubble it out. And once I have that set, I'm gonna go cut it out. Step three is to finish the backer. And to finish the backer, I'm going to stain it down with some 220 grit sandpaper. And then I'm gonna stain it with dark walnut stain from Minwax. And finally, I'll give it a good seal with two coats of polyacrylic. Step four is to use your template to mark your backer. So before I take my template to the saw, I'm going to use it to mark where my letters are going to go once I'm finished. To do this, I'm turning it over and I'm using a pencil to trace all of the corners or the tops of my letters. Once this is done, I'll turn it back over and I'll center it where I want it on my backer. Now I'll tape it in place and I'll retrace on the front side where I had marked the back. Doing this will cause the pencil marks on the back to rub onto the wood and show me exactly where to glue the letters once they're done. Step five is to cut your letters and somehow I failed to get footage of this. So real quickly, I just wanna show you what I used. I use a quarter inch MDF for the letters. I apply the template with painter's tape and spray adhesive. And then I started with the inside of the letters first. That's important. I drilled pilot holes. I cut those out just for stability's sake. And then I scrolled with a number five Pegasus modified geometry blade. I'll put the link to that in the description below. Step six, paint. Painting MDF can be a bear, especially if you're spray painting. I'm gonna start by sanding my letters. I'm gonna make sure they're clean and I'm gonna give them all a very thick coat of primer filler. My trick is to elevate the letters on painter's tape and on something skinny like a scrap stick of wood. This not only lets me get a good angle to spray the sides, but it also lets the excess paint have a way to drip off without puddling. It's okay to go heavy on the primer. You can always sand it down afterward if needed. And if the sides aren't completely covered after the first coat, you'll want to hit it again. Once primed and dry, they'll be ready for the paint color. This is where you'll want a lighter hand and will want to pay attention to the recoating times on the can. Step seven, it's finally time to glue down your letters on your backer with super glue. Even though I could see my pencil markings, I laid down a piece of tape to ensure that I was gluing down level. This CA glue from Glue Masters is one of my all time favorites and I'll stick it in the description below for you. After applying it on the back, I always dab the letter on a piece of paper or a paper towel to keep it from oozing out on the backer once I put it down. I hope that was helpful for you guys. Happy scrolling.